This is uh, uh, Dave Landau uh, was on uh, Michael Malice's show, and well, here you go. Were they having a short off? <laughs> so you're <laughs> and, Kim, and look, Kim, look, Kim is in the middle too. So all three of them officially have left louder with Crowder. I did. I left. I left a while ago. Yeah, a little while ago. Um, I had left. Um, I think we had talked. We talked that day a bit. Uh, I had had jury duty actually when I was going to go back onto the show. They you had offered fucking, uh, fucking an, Mark. An, you went to jury duty. Yeah, what a loser that I turned down. <laughs> And uh, they, uh, he did give me a nice, you know, going away uh, thing, get, you know, gift. I don't want to get into it, but it was still just, it, but they decided not to have me back on. I decided to leave uh, and I walked from the show. It was uh, a long time coming, about a year now. It was just through various contract issues and mm -hmm. not, it, it's an odd thing because I wanted to address it and we had talked about it a little bit. You made a very good point to me of like, I could either bring it up or have my story be told for me. Yeah. Brilliant cop <laughs> move. Brilliant cop Yeah, that's move. literally a cop move. Good job, Michael. I give him credit for that. Good job. And um, I don't. It sucks because I, I, I'm never one of I those. I watched this people. earlier. Michael Malice actually asked a lot of great questions. Well, like, let's get to them because I have 15 minutes. So shut up. Jesus. People that wants to go out and kind of, it doesn't feel like narking. You know what I mean? But it's it's one of those things where after what happened, even when I left Anthony's show, there were so many people that. Who? Drew their Anthony own. Kumia. Kumia. Yeah, Anthony fucking when you mean when you people. fucking screwed over Kumia. That's what you mean. You fucking left him high and dry. Mm-hmm. Michael Malice had to know because not everyone knows who Anthony is. Everyone knows who Crowder is. People that don't know me, I used to be the co-host there. So many conclusions were drawn to what actually happened as opposed to what actually happened. And I don't want people to think that that there's things that went on behind the scenes that didn't. Yeah, so just to, to fill in the blanks, I think a lot of times, uh, and we've all experienced this on social media, I certainly have, when someone doesn't uh, get their story out and there's gaps, uh, the audiences will fill in those gaps for you and leap to all sorts of conclusions and just kind of create a narrative that doesn't at all comport to reality. Um, so a lot of times when it's it, a lot of times, well, I don't I always do this, but it's right? important to be like, all right, I don't know. I, I have found this, this myself really happen and, and so on and so forth. Do you want to talk a bit about like, you know, what led up to this decision on your part? Yeah, um, I guess the, the beginning of it was uh, everything was going pretty well at the beginning of the show when I when first did you join that show? Let's talk I, about that. Okay, uh, I joined the show in. I was first offered February two thousand one. Okay, two thousand one. No, two thousand twenty one. Okay, I yeah. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it I was right. We, we needed to make America. Right, come on, man. Thought was going to be moving to South Carolina. Yeah. So uh, Stephen had made an offer to come work for him, and I had been guesting on the show fairly regularly. So yep. I took him up on that offer. Okay. Um, how did you find it? Let's, let's talk about that. You want to talk about the end? You want to talk about the beginning? How do, how do you want to talk about this situation? The beginning was great uh, for a while. You know, it really was. It was a lot of hanging out, collaborating. When referring, okay, wait, where's yeah, the contract he, uh, stuff? Uh, yeah, an he, hour uh, and four minutes. He had that. Well, and then he—I was told that he's like, well, that was all. Which are different. Um, yeah, it's. This is when I had to now start dumping money into entertainment lawyers. So a lot oh. of the money that I even made on tour, bye. Right. So you know, that became another issue. So promotion, it says that they agree to promote your stand-up once a week at a time and at in a medium of their discretion so Correct. it could just be some random post somewhere that no one sees he's right oh they were fucking in a medium of time in a medium yeah i mean i could just tweet it out can i ask a question i don't even understand crowder i'm sorry man but like if it's one person fine but it's a lot of people that are having problems with you every time they go there's some sort of fucking problems the only thing i'm seeing is he didn't make him sign an nda obviously i think he's not making people sign ndas anymore because he got so much shit for it before because obviously he's not nda if he's giving this on the show right I, oh yeah right. i'm sorry was... i i forgot to tell you so crowder's a, a piece of shit oh that's right yeah he's not a good guy it turns out oh, just no. because they had not been promoting me okay can I ask a question? I mean, I know we do uh -huh. this. Like, I know we do this on a much smaller scale. I understand that. 
But I, I, what I don't understand is regardless of, I can't ever imagine what size my show is. It's my show, right? It's not like I have no overlords. I don't have a hard break. I could do whatever the fuck I want, right? So imagine, why wouldn't you, if you had a comic on your show, like, oh, and a, for a year, say whatever you want about them, Jimmy plugged all his fucking dates. All the time. All the time. And why wouldn't he? Like, it takes, like, 60 seconds and to then let rem- someone plug. I can't remember- even make Virgie plug his shit. You remember when uh, they, it got to the um, point where Sirius XM told him he couldn't plug his gigs anymore? Yeah. So then they started finding passive-aggressive ways for him to not plug his gigs on the air. Yeah. And it became like, it was very funny. They would yeah. weave it into the stories. Well, yeah, it's like, well, um, like next week I'll probably run into him when I'm at the uh, Comedy Cellar uh, Friday and Saturday nights. Right. <laughs> like they would just find ways to go, well, we didn't do, we didn't stop the show to plug his gigs. It, he just works it in the conversation. I, I don't, I don't understand. What, <laughs> you, what, what would it matter if after, at the end of every episode of Crowder, you do let him do a 60 second plug. That's it's not hurting anybody, bro. Every time you go oh, to that's do so scummy, every time you go to do real ass podcast, Lewis makes sure that every single human being in the uh. fucking building gets a plug at the end. Am I wrong? Yeah, does no. he not go? Guess do your plugs, boom, bang. Okay, uh, all right, I'm gonna be at blah 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 blah. Check me out here, and then, uh, and then Zach does the hey, I'm gonna be here, here, and here. Check me out here, blah blah blah, and check me out on my other show. Like, they literally, dude, if anything, Lewis fucking real ass podcast was it an hour show? It's yeah. fucking 15 minutes of plugs at the end, but yeah, you know it what? It's because he's a good, he can get Shannon, tell Shannon, like, tell him when your show's on. Like, he makes sure that everybody gets their fucking shit in because he understands that you know. People don't go on these shows just to go How on them. scummy. It's, it's so like you scummy. go on and you're like, yo, tell us where you're going to be at. Tell them where to find you. No, but forget that, Mersh, Mersh. That's one thing. If it's a guest, he was an employee. He was your co-host. No, my point was that Lewis does it with him and Zach. No, no, no. I understand. The people, even the producers but I'm and saying stuff. This, but I'm saying this is even worse than that. Because this guy literally works with you. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, like Lewis plugs everybody, no matter who comes on this now. But this guy's in there every day. This guy p- p- moved, right? I like, I've always said I like Landau. I, I've never had an issue with Landau. So, but but my point is, is like, why, why you don't have, like, I don't care if you like Crowder or don't like Crowder. Even people that like Crowder, please do the mental gymnastics. Make me understand why you can't give 60 seconds of a show that you own that has no time. There's not a show coming up after, next to you. You go as long as you want. You go as short as you want. You could take three months off every year for some weird reason and, or whatever. Yeah, I, look, I like you. I don't hate Dave Landau, but I just don't understand his appeal. I, I, but, no, no, and, and that's but why I don't like hate the guy or anything. No, no, that's my point. Yeah, you, he you, seems you, fine. you could not find him funny. I'm not talking about that, but he's he's uh, everything I've heard about him all behind the scenes is a nice. No, he a, sounds like a very nice. He's a guy. nice guy, right? Whether you like him or not, whatever. But to quote Alec Baldwin in uh, uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, nice guy, good. Go home and play with your fucking kids. Well, that's the <laughs> that's the thing. Hey, 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 that's the thing. He wanted to, <laughs> but the new you. contract. Didn't let Landau play with his kids or go home. Yeah, his contract got way worse than this. And I put that I would, and it's in writing and what I gave them, was I would actually give them uh, a commission of my sold-out shows. Okay. Uh, What? What a scumbag Crowder. Know, You're no fuck, for, fuck for, for you, Dave, Crowder. This for is Landau, gross. For, no wonder you make people sign NDAs. You're a scumbag. For Landau, what a scumbag. For Landau to feel like. He should have to be in a position to offer that mm-hmm. to somebody. Shows you what what an expectant cunt Steven Crowder is and what Ew. a greedy piece no, of shit he, is. He goes on in a second to say like the reason why he offered that is because fucking he couldn't get he couldn't do any other shows to promote his shit mm-hmm. and Crowder wasn't promoting his shit. So it was basically him on his hands and knees begging Crowder, please God, promote my fucking shows, dude. Uh, and a commission of the shows with an if they were willing to actually give to actually promote my shows. So is that had, not your handwriting that I'm looking at? Yes, it is. Oh, so because, you said, okay, I'll give you guys 5% of the door if I sell out. Uh, 5% in general and 10% if I sell out. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck? Um, just because I was, imagine. where else am I going to go to promote? I'm not on any other shows. Right. And I right. don't have time to go to other shows because I write right. for him. And at right. this point, I'm now desperate to promote my shows because he won't do it. Okay. So you have me and Matt McClower. He's got a new daughter. We're going around the country and, and I'm watching ticket sales slide and I'm, it's funny. Like I'm literally in malls, like for example, doing like a funny bone 
and I'm in like a comic book store and Matt and I are standing there and a the guy would go, Hey, you're Dave Landau. And I go, yeah. He'd be like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, I'm performing at the funny bone upstairs. And he'd be like, really? You, you should mention your dates on your show. And I'd be like, yeah, I, I should. You're right. Wow. That, that must have been like a knife in the heart. Yeah, it would hurt. Yeah. That was I, pretty funny. Yeah, you're right. Dave I Landau's ever said. That is actually really funny. <laughs> there, There is, I will say this, there is a charm to just. Super, Damn, that's pretty shitty. To dude. just super honest, depressed Dave yeah. Landau is kind of a funny bit. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I should be. That would be cool. <laughs> Apparently, so not allowing to promote his dates. Uh, when he got his new contract, uh, what was that about relocating? Virgie, just give me a TLDR oh, yeah. on He's, that. I I think he says that in a couple minutes. Uh -huh. He mentions that fucking Crowder Mersh Mersh Mersh. This uh -oh. new contract, this new contract, required Dave to move his entire family to. Oh Texas. yeah, yeah. Royce had told me about this. That yeah. was in the fucking contract. Yeah, that's with no raise in salary. That's with the part. No raise in salary. What the? That's fuck, the part that man. bugs me. I wouldn't even care about the because honestly, Dave, I also think it's a little weird that you don't want to live with your family. Um, it just seems weird. Uh, I, as as a father of two with a and married, I understand it entirely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get that. All right, that's good. I get that. That's good. Um, but I mean, it's just it's just weird that. Again, I would understand if somebody said, look, man, we, we really are going to be working hard. We're going to be ramping things up. I'd really be more comfortable if you, mm -hmm. like, I have no problem plugging your shows, helping out. I don't want 5% of your fucking gigs. To, I would never even ask that of you. But it would be probably better if you weren't flying back every weekend to shitty Detroit to be with your family. I'll give you a raise. I'll give you relocation yes. money or whatever. But I'd, I would feel better if you were here and focused on this show. And I'm still not going to ask you to not go on the road and do your fucking gigs but it's just you want to go on the road and do your gigs and you also want to fly weekends go be with it's like all right look here's crowder has the money here's a hundred grand bring your family to fucking tax you know what i mean and that would be it then i would be a kind of on crowder's side i'd be like well yeah why don't you want to be around your family you fucking weirdo take but but but, but you're right the fact that he had also no raise yeah, which was that's weird. exactly what you're like wait say, so yeah. i'm not also not getting anything more yeah. a year but you're getting more you're getting like infinitely more money but i'm gonna i'm not getting more money take care of your staff i cannot tell you how important it is to keep your fucking staff happy again smaller scale obviously but take care of your people let them plug their shit plug their shit when they're live shit man go to our fucking locals every time pessy or virgie's on or or any one of our i try to we, we always try to pop that then there are twitters hey we read we why not? It costs you nothing. It costs you nothing to let Landau plug it. But the problem is when you become someone like Crowder who needs to monetize every second, every second of his life needs to be monetized. You can't even let somebody who's on your show do 60 seconds. Go fuck yourself. Crowder's in a lot of stuff that we say is cringe and this and that. And now we're kind of figuring out why not gay Jared had that NDA. And now we're also figuring out that what, and after the, especially after the Daily Wire thing, which by the way, now that we picked Daily Wire side, that was definitely a patented RGC hate, hate, hate moment. But it, <laughs> but it was. Crowder strikes me as the kind of guy that still makes his wife pick up the tip mm -hmm. when they go out to dinner on a date. Right. You know what I mean? Like I'll pay, but you know, you should get the tip. I, I don't, it's only fair. I don't understand it. I, I don't. I don't. It takes. It takes a second. Well, it takes a second of fucking humanity. You so you yeah, Canadian. Yeah, a thing that he's incapable you of. You fucking Canadian sociopath. What is wrong with you, Crowder? He's a psych. I think he's a psychopath. I don't think he's a sociopath. Dude. Everybody that goes on his show and gets funnier than him, he gets rid of. The first was not Kate Jared, Sven Computer, and now and now Landau's the next one. The only problem you're going to have is now you're working with you Brewer. You ran off quarter black Garrett, too. It's going to be tough for you to convince Pete to get Brewer out of there, because Brewer's already going, going in there funnier than you. You know what I mean? He's already in there funnier oh, than this you. Is gonna, I honestly think this is going to be my favorite story arc is going to be the Crowder Brewer arc because Crowder's now not even going to be the most famous or the most alpha on his own show. He hates paying people what they're worth. Right. And you know he has to pay fucking good money to this motherfucker. And he's going to start to feel like threatened and brewer's the kind of guy that's like hey i don't give a shit about any of this man i'll fucking <laughs> i don't need this money dude <laughs> you know so brewer will fucking brewer's not gonna put up with shit from crowder and crowder's gonna start getting a little passive aggressive with fucking brewer it's gonna be fun it's gonna be i don't see this 
this partnership lasting. And I think this might end up being the most devastating thing to the crowd. And, 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 and I really want to understand from them because there's some boomers in here that are going to defend Crowder no matter what. Instead of making fun of us, make fun of us. We might fucking suck. My only question to you is this, and it's very simple. Do you think what he is doing is right? Do you blindly follow Steven Crowder so much that you think not letting his employee have 60 sec employee and, and co-host have 60 seconds to plug his gigs but cost him nothing is good business practices? Do you think making him relocate, telling him to relocate his relocate everything without giving him a fucking salary? Do you think that's fair? Dude, he was fucking this dude. He was fucking this dude hard and everybody knows it. And I get you might want to like Crowder and you're probably the people that are defending are probably looking at a at a mug that's collecting dust that says mug club on it. But to to me, it's never been about that. I understand we're on Rumble. We know that we're on fucking Crowder's turf. I understand it. We fucking 100% get it. But you want to know what the fucking difference is? When you look at the bottom of our video, you know what it says? Join locals. You want to know why? Because we want everyone to join locals, and we want everybody that joins locals to join other creators' locals so we build a nice, big, cool community of cool little shows that interact and can, and can all hang out. It doesn't say join our fucking ROTC Mug Club because sometimes it pays to be a team player. That way you're not isolated and everyone that used to work with you hates you. W what are you doing, man? For forget well, even if I don't like you, I, and I, I don't know, maybe your dad's not giving you good business advice, but the optics of this are fucking horrendous. Your contracts are nightmares. Yeah. Dude, this, this fucking contract, this fucking contract mm -hmm. had a clause that if Dave mm -hmm. Landau was more than five minutes late to work that day, mm -hmm. don't right. leave the building. No right. work. No compensation. Jesus. No five minutes late. McDonald's employees don't put up with that. Wait, if they're five minutes late, they don't get paid? Is that what you just said? No, yes, yes. Five minutes late to work doesn't get paid. You know what Dave did? Because what the contract you're looking at in this video is Dave's that he wrote in shit and then sent it back to them and they said no. Dave wrote in 15 minutes. I, they wouldn't I, take it. Crowd is a fucking psycho. Wow. Hey, man, whatever, dude. I don't, yeah. I don't care if you like his hot takes or change my mind. This yeah. guy, this guy, from everything oh. I've seen, every time we hear one of these stories, he's a piece of shit. Hey, Landau, come he's on the show. Garbage. Dish, yeah. dish some dirt on that Crowder. Hey, 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 Landau, guess you could plug all your shit over here, boy. Come on. Uh, whatever, man. I, I mean, I we, we don't have to keep talking anymore. I, I just, just, just come on, man.